Obligatory disclaimer, Marvel Studios is an impenetrable fortress of secrecy, and few secrets make it out alive. Still, there's always the slim chance that a nugget of truth will reach daylight before the people in charge are ready for it, so here goes. While it remains to be seen whether it's rumor, conjecture, or a real fact that slipped through Disney's fingers, there are rumblings that Brooklyn Nine-Nine actor Stephanie Beatrice will be suiting up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe soon, in a role you might not expect. The website Giant Freakin' Robot is reporting that the 39-year-old actress is being eyed to take over as Ghost Rider, Marvel's sometimes spirit of vengeance. Guilty. The site states that the scoop comes from a source which has provided reliable information in the past, filling in their team on Kevin Feige's intention to block Black Widow from moving straight to streaming. If true, this would be far from the first time that Beatrice has been considered for a high-profile superhero role, and far from the first person rumored to play Ghost Rider. She was reportedly on the shortlist to star in She-Hulk before Tatiana Maslanti landed the gig, and was also a candidate to replace Ruby Rose following her departure from the CW's Batwoman. Stephanie Beatrice is best known for her work playing Rosa Diaz on all seven seasons of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Her next project, a movie adaptation of the Lin-Manuel Miranda musical In the Heights, is scheduled for release in 2021. Ghost Rider, in his familiar flame sculpt form, first appeared in Marvel Comics back in 1972's Marvel Spotlight No. 5. Originally, the most supernatural superhero of all was the alter ego of the cursed motorcycle stuntman Johnny Blaze, an adrenaline junkie who made a pact with Mephisto, summoning the comic book devil through the most extreme and nefarious means of all, poetry. Since then, others have taken up the mantle, including Blaze's brother Dan Ketch and more recently Robbie Reyes. A potential MCU entry wouldn't mark the first time that Ghost Rider has taken a female form. In 2011, Marvel's Fear Itself crossover saw a Central American woman briefly take up the mantle of the Spirit of Vengeance before having her powers absorbed by Johnny Blaze. Blaze's mother, Naomi Kale, also became host to the Spirit of Vengeance. Whether Beatrice would play one of these iterations or a fresh new character remains unknown, as again does the likelihood that she'll be taking over at all. Ghost Rider's first live-action appearance came in 2007, when Nicolas Cage appeared on the big screen as the Johnny Blaze incarnation of the character. He followed up his performance a few years later with the delightfully weird and underrated sequel Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, held by Crank directors Mike Neveldeen and Brian Taylor. Blaze made another brief cameo on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the fourth season of which also predominantly featured the Robbie Reyes version of the anti-hero. A Hulu series based on the Reyes Ghost Rider was in development at Marvel Television before the studio was folded into Marvel Studios in late 2019. Marvel's maneuvers toward a more inclusive and diverse cinematic universe have been notable in recent years. Moving forward, it's been confirmed that Natalie Portman will take the reins as the new God of Thunder, wielding Mjolnir or some variant thereof in Taika Waititi's upcoming Thor Love and Thunder. Other forthcoming projects include the female-led Black Widow, the studio's first film starring an actor of Asian ancestry, Shang chi in The Legend of the Ten Rings, and a Captain Marvel sequel, among others. While Johnny Blaze is almost definitely the most well-known version of the character, this also wouldn't be the first time that the MCU circumvented an original iteration of one of their star players in order to present a more diverse story. Brie Larson's Carol Danvers is one of more than half a dozen characters to take on the title of Captain Marvel, while Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury character spent the better part of his first four decades as a white guy. While Stephanie Beatrice's involvement in the MCU moving forward is still far from a sure thing, her inclusion as the motorcycle-riding, soul-burning anti-hero would certainly take the character in new directions and get people talking. Be sure to check back often for the latest on this and all Marvel Cinematic Universe rumors. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite Marvel comics, movies, and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.